Uh, I wanted the red hoodie blanket, but I was only able to get a blue. I got her a purple because that's her favorite color. And bruh. What's, what's a hoodie blanket? Y'all be putting your hoodie blanket on together to watch movies? Yeah, that's exactly Damn what we right. do. Dad. Yes. Damn right. <laughs> that, that's like, you said that's what you do it. Listen, I would fall asleep with that much like comfort around me. I'd be knocked out. I can't do that. Hey, Keenan, tell the truth. Tell the truth. You'd be like putting it, putting your knees in it, like your whole legs, and just like yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I no longer need a real blanket when I lay. Like when I take a nap on the couch, I put that on. I, put, I curl up in a fetal position. I'm fully like engulfed inside the hoodie blanket. <laughs> I love that. Sometimes I put my I put my hands inside the sleeves, so I, I take them out the sleeves. I just I just sleep inside the blanket fully, like I'm in a in a womb. It's beautiful, dog. This is literally the show I, I put it on. It, I mean, our, our, our house, we don't have a good heater like that. So we only have space heaters because the heater that comes with the place that we're in, it only shoots into the kitchen. That's it. It's the dumbest shit ever. So our place be cold as hell when it's cold and hot as hell when it's hot. Space heaters are clutch because what you can do is you get the blanket and then you put it over the space heater. It fills everything up and then you close it. And then That's also how you start a house fire, Patrick. This is why, this is why nobody lets you house it for them. Nigga, you just said <laughs> The most that, elementary way to start a house fire ever. I have to that, that's probably why you have moved so many times. You don't burn down every house because of that damn blanket snuggy hoodie thing. <laughs> Look at Patrick was like, and that's why gasoline is so cool because you can basically set anything on fire with it. Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? Serial killer? Right. Nah, nah. I definitely I, that's yo, Pat, that's one of the best investments I've made for real. And the sense of Clothing that I've made in years. Uh -huh. No one has had uh, any regrets about it. It's pretty, pretty fire. Keon, get jump on this wave, man. I don't, I don't, don't I'd be, I, I don't do, I don't do cuddle up shit. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the thing, like I, I be, I'm, I, I run hot. I, I normally run hot, but that right now, I mean, cause we, we have heated blankets in the crib for her. Like she loves heated blankets too. Mm -hmm. So we got both, but. I mean, when it when it gets cold in here, it gets freezing in our crib. And I it's like perfect. it cold. My family doesn't, but I I love it cold, man. I I, ooh, it's it's, I don't know any women who like it cold. It's only men. Why are you? There's not so a cold? single woman on earth who like it cold. Why? I don't understand. I think, I think for us, a lot of us do run hot, so we want it. Why? I think it's just our, a lot of so our. We're not anemic like you guys. That's why. All is all the evil, evil. evil that spews within y'all just heats you up from the core. No, no, I mean, that's, that's your, your cold, cold heart. Your cold heart. Cold. Yeah, your cold soul. And I, <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure it's also a little bit of losing blood monthly, but uh, that's the main reason is your cold heart. Damn, <laughs> what imagine? It makes sense. Damn. Makes sense. Wait, that's why y'all low iron? I mean, it could be scientifically. Go through blood, we go through more blood. Meg's yeah. Meg, Meg, Meg going a whole different way. She knows she's going to get double t Like, wait. <laughs> Wait, it's a period talk. You know what's crazy is I never ever thought about that until right now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I had, I had a woman tell me she was just like, you know, you know, she hit me with the the woman explaining, but she hit mm. me with. I never, I never correlated those two things. That's actually pretty. And it makes it makes complete sense, and I just never thought about it. Total sense. It makes total sense. Okay. Eon yeah, well, looks like the most gangster is gangster eating a salad. Like who? Who just who makes sure that that diet isn't checked before they go jump somebody? That's what you look like you're doing right now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw a radish. Are there radishes in there? Here's the thing to hear. And this is a true story. Not a true story. I mean, a true statement. Part of the reason I am in shape is so niggas don't want to fight you. <laughs> like when we used to go out, like in my 20s, when we was really like all lifting weights like that. When shit would jump off, we would just take our shirts off immediately just to make the next nigga think twice, like maybe I don't wanna genius this niggas over there kind of buff. Cause we didn't want to fight. So I'm like, harder, not harder, like man. Work smarter, not harder. I get it. I ain't that, that. that mentality was the same mentality that I had, but I just never got big. <laughs> like I just <laughs> I just couldn't put the weight on. Like I tried so hard. <laughs> what happens when a, uh, somebody wants to fight still? Like they buff too, and you just like wow, shit. <laughs> Well, well that, that's that's when you hopefully get to a tussle and you can use the strength. <laughs> Take it to the ground, hold them down. Like, we ain't got to be doing this. Relax. Wait, does muscles <laughs> automatically equate to like fighting good? No, no, but 
you you like as a as a man, you're looking at it like if if it does come, most most fights end up on the ground. And if it comes to strength versus strength, I'm going to lose if I'm not. So that's why people be like, I don't want no problem with that big ass dude. Yeah. Um, most most people don't actually have hands for real. Like, yeah. For real for real hands? No. They they go for that one knockout swing. If they miss, they stamina is dead. Keon right. got stamina, so Keon gonna probably win a lot of fights off stamina. This nigga just gonna be like, <laughs> Keon will be like, all right, cool. I, I lasted. I'm tired immediately. <laughs> hey, here, did you win a lot of fights? Who? You. I only had like maybe three fights outside of family members. And those were like more like jumpings. Um, and what? I feel like my team won. But I didn't. <laughs> Wait, yeah, like we we got we got in fight ah! we got in a fight at the skating rink. It was like five of us and like five of them, and then we got in a fight at my cousin's school. Last time, fighting at the skating rink is a very funny venue. But keep going. Oh man, no, nah, it wasn't. It wasn't, happened, it wasn't, though, it wasn't nothing funny about it because like this was on a Friday night joint where like people was dancing. They ain't really go to skate, and so <laughs> you know you got lockers at the skating rink, so they would put socks. I mean, they would put locks in the socks. And they would use that as a weapon. Ooh, no, no, I'm, I'm, really I'm not. I'm not even kidding you, bro. I'm I not, only hear about that as like a, a joke. That no, act, no, 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 no. That's an actual. Lock? You put a you put a lock like a combination lock. In no, a, no, I remember. Lock, I know what that is. And tie a knot in it, and you, then motherfuckers will come up like this, getting the, the and then hit people in the head with it. That shit was crazy. That was a real Wait, thing. Look. Wait, Pat, I, Pat, you you you're, you you said you're from here, right? Yeah. So you, you ever heard you ever, you ever been to skate land out here? Mm-hmm. There was so many fights at Skateland, dog. I, no, like, skating rinks are all about fight. My dad got jumped in a skating rink in like the forties. <laughs> in the forties, <laughs> not that old. <laughs> no, I don't know when it was, but it was before the blood sign. Let me tell you that. <laughs> he, he, he said that he was skating, and it was like you know, it was like old shit. And like he, he uh, there was some group of guys and stuff, and he went like this because it meant a okay back then. He went Hilarious. like this. Beat his ass. Wow. <laughs> you couldn't even be positive back A-okay. then. Okay. They wasn't going for the positivity. They was like, yo, who the fuck, man, telling me it's going to be okay? Hey, yo, get this nigga, son. The amount of dudes I heard getting jumped in on the skating rink, not at the skating, skating rink, like while skating, they'll kick the skates so they fall and then beat, beat them up. I'm like, yo, that's, that's such a cute setting to get beat up in. And the skating is supposed to be a good time. Like, why are niggas so angry all the time? You hear brother the fire the whole anything. time? Do yeah. you remember? You get me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, you I didn't jump to that song, Pat. That is hysterical. <laughs> it's always going to be an amazing song because that's all they play at the skating rink. <laughs> Bro, that band and shit. What song oh would you rather get jumped to? That is all. Oh, golly. <laughs> not if that's not fun. Jump me to war. At least it'd be like a theme song. Like, war. war. <laughs> what is it good for? Absolutely. <laughs> you look up and be like, say it again. Pop. <laughs> that actually is better. I'll, I'll get jumped to war. Man, what you want to get jumped to? Everybody loves kung fu fighting? <laughs> <laughs> Don't give him that. Shut up, Pat. <laughs> Actually, I would prefer who's that lady? <laughs> who's that lady, lady? While getting beat up. Right. Yeah. It was me. I'm that lady that was getting beat up. <laughs> uh, <it wasn't> <laughs> <laughs> I'm that lady. <laughs> oh, I just beat the dog shit out of bag. That's horrible. <laughs> I feel like Meg would get jumped. never again. Meg would get jumped and then she would do an assessment on how each person did that jumped her. She be like, let me tell you, you, you they gonna catch you by yourself, and you gonna get jumped by yourself because you did not help why they were jumping me. At Whatever. All. Uh, I got hands. You know our hands are bigger than yours to hear. Shut up. Meg, Meg will come to go to the whip and pop the trunk, and get them nunchucks, and come back air that bitch out. <laughs> <laughs> air it out with nunchucks. <laughs> Meg, do you actually do you actually know any type of martial arts or anything like that, or are you just? It's in my blood. I feel like. If I have to fight, it'll just come out naturally. Right. Nobody just fucking does <laughs> flying dragon master crane when they're fighting, Meg. That's ridiculous. 
Yes, I went, you do. You're not Asian. You don't know. <laughs> I'll just let it happen. Yeah. Why, why y'all laughing, though? In high school, I remember a, a bunch of Asians got in a fight and hopped out of a van with nunchucks and beat the shit out of everybody in Burger King. It was not a game. It was blood everywhere. Hey, more than oh, one shit. got out with what? They hopped out of a van with nunchucks and beat the shit out of everybody what? that was at Burger King. Some people, I think, was just there eating and, and, and caught a chuck. Why? Caught a it chuck? was like the... A you know, beat with somebody else. And they were just right. walking around beating up people eating Whoppers? I I don't know who was actually, like, in the thing. I know they, they fought the people they were supposed to, but I think some people just caught it. Because they just oh, hopped man. out the van. It was like a movie, nigga. They hopped out the, the van stopped. They hopped out the back, nigga, and just started beating the shit out of them. And they were all, like, good with them? They were all, like, like trying? I don't know, Pat, because I ran, because I'm smart. <laughs> so I don't exactly know. <laughs> I was say, what the hell what the hell the street, got niggas? What's happening? That's so I was like, there was because Burger King used to be where we fought at. Like, everybody fought at Burger King. What'd you say? Where do you get nunchucks from? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> Asian. I don't, I don't know. No, I'm <laughs> Asian. I don't know. And the real <laughs> ones, the real ones hurt for real. Like, oh, yeah. oh, I had yeah. plastic yeah. ones growing up. Yeah. You see plastic They're ones. Iron. Yeah, yeah. That's man. I'm trying to think, like, did the van have, like, a duffel bag full of nunchucks for everybody? <laughs> just, I don't know. I just remember it was so much. I just remember the next day, it was so much blood, like, just all over everywhere. And the oh, next day? Wow. I got to look this up. This got to be in the news somewhere. Well, this is a long time ago. I doubt it. In Antioch, California, I doubt it. Yeah. Uh, they 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 what does the headline read? They just expect that attack. Headline. I feel and like Burger King. I'm, I'm searching it. California nunchuck attack <laughs> at <laughs> Burger King. Stabbing, uh, stabbing. Damn, a lot of stabbings at Burger King. Did not know that. A lot oh, of people. You know, people Burger always take shots at the King. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it was another. I remember another fight. It was at Burger. Burger everybody used to fight at Burger King. It was next door to the school, and I remember a big <laughs> fight broke out. And the security guard, we was inside ordering, and the fight broke out. And somebody was like, you got to get out there and do something. He was like, oh, I am. And he locked the doors and just sat there and watched. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a, wait a second. Why is it that all fights happen at, like, fast food restaurants, like, in high school? Like, at, at our school, it was it was McDonald's. Like, meet me in the back of McDonald's, and niggas got beat up at McDonald's all yeah, the time. Because like, you need that. Because that's just where you go to eat. <laughs> you go to eat after school, and then you know Pull niggas, up. niggas fight, <laughs> bro. Y'all see, y'all, y'all are city kids because I lived, I grew up in the the burbs, the country burbs, and they your school is like not next to restaurants. You're like fight me at the cornfield. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you would fight at the bus stop or in front of people's in the neighborhood. <laughs> People get dropped stocked out in front of a tractor. <laughs> <laughs> Meet me at the barnyard. <laughs> like that'll be even scary because I feel like if you lose it, you're gonna get on that tractor. <laughs> I'm gonna run you down with that tractor if I'm losing. Right. <laughs> That's for sure. You chasing Ours somebody with a tractor, they're just doing a brisk walk to get away from you, nigga. <laughs> Ours was so weird because we had LAPD, so you like people had to walk all the way to the park, which was a couple blocks down. So it was funny because it'd be like one dude's team on one side of the street and the other dude's team on the other side of the street. Walking together. Was like, it was kind of a long walk. Like we were just <laughs> like, walking. I was like, that's a long time to like, just keep that animosity. After the block, I'd be like, man, I'm hungry, yeah. fuck this fight. So they were just <laughs> like, ah, I still want blood. <laughs> It was just weird because it was way too far away. And I remember one time somebody was just like, this is too long, do it now. And the guy like crossed the street and they just <laughs> fought right now. They just fought right there. We were just like, yo. He thought man. about it. He was like, this is a full walk. I'm going to use all my energy up. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I, don't say, I don't say angry long. So that for me, like, I don't. <laughs> I, that's it. I got You get about like a right. 30 second window for my real <laughs> anger, for my highest strength anger. After that, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> The window. You know what, Keenan? I, I realized that like really crazy people can keep that animosity for a long time. Like those do th those those people who can be like, all right, for sure. And then like hours later, like that, like, like uh Matt Barnes drove like four hours to fight right. Derek Fisher. 
Like that's yeah. a lot. Like that's a lot of time to just be like regular. Bro, and, if, like, if, you listening, What's up? if you listening to Jeezy the whole time, it's possible. You can keep it up. <laughs> you know, all his albums. Just... You, just, <laughs> you press shuffle on all of Jeezy's albums. You're like, okay, man. You pull up. I don't, bang, I don't have it in me, man. Bang. I don't have it in me. That like when people used to do that in high school, be like, we're gonna meet after school. I'd be like, no, we got we kind of gotta fight now. I'm not gonna have it after yeah. school. I'm not I'm not gonna remember what you did. Like I'm not gonna care anymore. Like we gotta we have to do it now, or it's just we gotta I'm just ha- imagine, you know, Keon, imagine Keon, you had six period basketball, right? Going into after school, right? So it's like you hooping six period, you killing in practice. Like, nigga, I was killing in practice. I got to still fight this. Oh, <laughs> right? You had a good well, day. At least your adrenaline's already up. If you just coming off of killing it on the court, your adrenaline, this is your best chance. Now you got to seek the person out to beat their right. ass. Yeah. I had history seventh period. Like, I'm not trying to fight after history. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga. Y'all no. I'm hella tired. Right. We didn't learn about Malcolm X. Like, look, look, I'm not trying to do this right now. That's hey, brother. Brother. My brother. <laughs> brother, brother, brother. You are so lost. <laughs> and like a lot of people would wait, like shit would jump off in the morning and they'd be like after school. That's why like on, on our campus, if it only time it happened at Burger King is if like shit went down right before last period, because then they still had it. But if it happened like in the morning, they just fight at lunch. Like I don't have time to sustain this anger all day. This all day? Hilarious. I got a test in seventh period. I can't hey, how I was, <laughs> I how old was y'all at y'all's last fight? How huh? old? Yeah, how old were you? Your last fight that you had? I think I was twenty or twenty-one. I don't even want to say. <laughs> He's like, yes. I mean, I mean, like a physical. Alter- it could be family too. Yeah, but physical altercation. Uh, shoot, like 30, 30, oh, 32, 32, something like that. You oh, scrapping okay. with your family at thirty-two? Problem starter, man. This nigga. No, nah, it was. It was like it was. You know. You know how when you have death in the family, a lot of times, like uh, people's energy is just off. So yeah. everybody's sensitive. So it was like my me and my brother. We were just talking. And he he was. He said something. I'm just like, there was a cracker in the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I not at the funeral. We was at, we was actually at her house because we stayed. We we were staying in her house where, where her daughter was. Okay. So we just like the energy was just like off, and he just said something because I felt like I felt like he was maybe being a little too insensitive or whatever the case may be, and then I just uh, you know we just started we just started scrapping, dog. Did you lose? Oh. Keenan, huh? Keenan, did Keenan, you Keenan, lose? Talking about I don't even stay angry that long. This nigga teed off on his brother. <laughs> on his <laughs> you want to be next? You want to be next? It wasn't at the funeral, it was in the house. So we just say the funeral, it sounds better. I said at the repast. Everybody else is fixing the plate. This nigga's fixing his neck, his hands around his brother's neck. That's his <laughs> Well, I mean, I mean, it was my older brother, so I didn't I, I ain't gonna say I ain't say I ain't gonna say I got the W, but I ain't gonna yeah. say I took an L either. <laughs> That's funny, but start the fight and lose. You mother- <laughs> <laughs> you wake up like, no, nah, I, I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> I forgive you. My bad, my bad. It's did all you, good, did, bro. Sorry, did you bro. learn your lesson? Great place for us to uh, jump right into this. First topic. We're going to do that right after this. I know y'all know what's going on. Days starting to get a little bit longer. Sun's coming up early, getting a little warmer. Spring is just around the corner, all right? And that means it's time to get your lawn on track. Now, I know, I know the last thing anyone needs or wants is another complicated or toxic lawn product. However, Sunday isn't just another lawn care product. It's a customized lawn plan that works with nature, all right? They take all the guesswork out of it. You ain't got to worry about that. They also take out the unwanted chemicals so you can grow a beautiful lawn that's better for people, pets, and the planet. One of the reasons I love Sunday is because I don't have a green thumb like that. I, I've watched a couple HGTV shows, uh, picked up a couple pointers, but I still don't know what I'm doing. I love how easy it was to set my Sunday up. All I had to do was go online, put my address on, and Sunday uses the soil and the climate data to create a tailored nutrient plan. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm glad they did all their work because I didn't know what I was doing. Sometimes I still don't. But with Sunday, they take all the guesswork out of it for you. Sunday is made with ingredients that you can actually pronounce like seaweed, iron, and molasses. 
so you can grow better and feel better about it. And Sunday explains exactly what you get and why. And everything is waiting for you at your door when you need it. All I had to do was attach a ready-to-use pouch to a garden hose and spray. Lawn care used to take up a whole day. You remember your parents waking you up early to help them go outside and get to... Listen, now it takes less than 15 minutes. Best of all, this stuff really works and my grass looks greener than ever before. So let Sunday take the guesswork out of growing a greener, more beautiful lawn this spring. Visit GetSunday.com slash squad to get $20 off your custom lawn plan at checkout. That's $20 off your custom plan at GetSunday.com slash squad. First topic of the day, would you rather be an infamous villain or an unknown superhero? A what kind of villain? A what? An infamous villain or an unknown superhero. I'm already an infamous villain, so I'm gonna go with the other one. That is true, Meg. You are you have a dark side that people have seen <laughs> and they did not Meg is gonna you. go from us to Gotham. She's gonna be like, This is boring. <laughs> <laughs> I need more of a challenge. <laughs> an infamous superhero. So like a villain that's an infamous villain. A, a villain that's famous. Mm -hmm. for, for bad things bad stuff or a superhero that nobody knows about mm -hmm. you'd be like bruce willis when he was that superhero what was that um the glass the yeah the first one was the unbreakable wasn't it yeah um, yeah 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 he was just like a regular body ass superhero so do you mean nobody knows the hero or nobody knows this the because most heroes are secret on the dc side you know well, like, like nobody even see, like, you know, they know that Batman, they don't know his identity, but they know he's saving stuff. But on this one, you wouldn't even be around. Like, they wouldn't even have footage of you actually saving something. They would just be like, oh, this was, you know, the train stopped on its own, but you really were the person that stopped it and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. that. Ooh. For sure that. Because I feel like you that, that, that gives you a lot of leeway. Um, I think that Cause like in Marvel, none of them uh, have secret identities. Everybody knows who they are. So that kind of gives you the pressure. And um, I feel like if you're a hero that nobody knows about, not only will the government leave you alone, but it's like, you can just live a regular life and you don't have to save everybody. <laughs> the, Wait, the that's like, no, that's like Superman. What? That's no, everybody knows who Superman is. No, the they don't. He's an unknown superhero. He can live his life as Clark Kent, and nobody would know that he is. No, that was my original question. They don't know his. They they don't know who Superman is, but the whole world knows Superman. You know, yeah. like when Superman saves oh, somebody, like oh, there's yeah. Superman. There's but footage this, of him flying and stuff. This as this hero, there will be no footage of you. No one knows knows that you exist. No one knows that you're doing the good deed. You it's you, like Goku. Like, you, you move in the darkness and help people. Basically, Goku. Hey, what up, baby Keon? Hey, was it? You, you know what would be crazy if you were a hero? Like that. <laughs> if you were a hero, but you had planned a vacation and you was like, I'm not doing anything on this vacation, you get to the resort <laughs> and uh, you see a robbery happen, you'd be like, ah, I said I wouldn't go do it. I said, I and, and that's the thing. <laughs> Nobody would be like, yo, to here, come on. Somebody, there's a burning building. They, exactly. It was still, uh, it's, just, it's like on, uh, what was it? Um, uh, Book of Eli in the beginning. <laughs> when he, when the bikers had grabbed that chick, and he was oh, like, right. "Does it concern you? Does it concern you?" <laughs> hey, that was a messed up scene, though. He was just like, "Let me read," and she's just like, "Help!" Ah! She's like, mm. <laughs> just ignoring it. Nah. The only thing, only thing about the the superheroes, like you couldn't be in a relationship though, like at all. Nah, at all. If you're unknown. Or period. Yeah, because, because because you if you're unknown, right, and you just up and leaving, your girl be like, where are you going? And you're like, uh, I just got to, you know, you ain't going to tell her. And then she can be like, this nigga cheating. You know what I mean? It's going to be hella and annoying. The yep. bruises, too. You come on with all these bruises. Like, what is going right. on? Like, first rule of Fight Club, we can't talk about Fight Club. Right. Oh, wait, wait. You, <laughs> actually, people, actually, people around you can know, though. There's nothing. Actually, there's nothing that says that people around you can't know. It's just that on a nobody mainstream. is going to. Keep that's not that unknown, secret. then, Pat. You can't. You right. can't say you're an unknown superhero, but you let a couple people in. Like no one can know. Yeah. What you mean? There's hella un unknown people that only a couple people know about. That's not unknown, then. There's just a couple. You got a hella people that like most it's people. Small don't circle. Know. Well, here, here, here's here's the worst thing about that. What Keon said about the relationship. You can't even tell the truth because there's no footage. That, that was me. I'm telling you, that was, I right. stopped the train. 
Nigga, where's the footage? I, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, why would you need footage? If you can start fire, just be like, no, that 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 person is me. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, that is you. Holy shit. They be like, yeah, all right, nigga. You always need footage, bro. You always need some type of proof. Not if you go going out around the room. But she's going to be like, how I know that wasn't another superhero then? How I know that wasn't Invisible Man or whatever the how case may be. you guys go straight to cheating? What about <laughs> we're superheroes? Because you know? that's, that's where they go. That's where they go. Right. You've been gone. All, you keep leaving all these unexplained absences. You're coming back with bruises. Like, I'm, I'm saving the, the world. Question, I'm answering the question based on their crazy. Like, like I, Since I already know how they operate, I'm just like, I can't. Leon, with function. great power comes great responsibility. If you in that situation, Spider-Man didn't have no girl. He was chasing Mary Jane for 10 plus seasons. I'm Spider just saying. Spider-Man Spider had some chicks, man. Batman had chicks. But like he didn't have time for none of them. You got responsibility. We got to save the world. Forget these. Forget forget the chicks that are like, where are you going? You was out. And that's that's no reason why I, I think baby. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the villain because it ain't as much responsibility. I can pick and choose when I decide I wanted to blow shit up. Other than that, I could be chilling and just like, like it's Tuesday. Let me. Uh, yeah, you're do avoiding this. prison. <laughs> huh? You're it's avoiding prison. Not if you yeah, but I'm really good at this, so I'm not worried the about it. The Joker kept getting out of jail. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't right. matter what he did. He was trying to blow up the whole city of Gotham, all the residents of Gotham, and Batman was like, I still can't kill him. He was like, nigga, I'm good. I'm going to get out That's in two thing. weeks. He only, he only lived because his, his arch nemesis had some crazy moral fixture with killing him. If it was anybody else, Superman would have killed Joker in the first <laughs> episode, and then there would have been just... He would have moved on to another city. So Superman was another one that didn't really kill people too. He just beat them up. He didn't really kill people like that. Who? Who? Superman. Yeah, he didn't kill nobody. It, he, his his thing was if it came down to it, I think he if he was if his hand was forth, it was like life or death, he would. But a lot of the heroes in general, their their ethics and, and moral code right. is not kill at all. So if I'm a villain and I know these losers got morals. I'm wild out. What's the worst you're gonna do? Throw me in jail? My friends is in there, nigga. Let's go. Like, I don't right, care. but then you also get blamed for stuff that you didn't do because people are like, you're just bad. You know what? We're gonna say it's Keon that did it. That's why. I but if I'm a super villain, I don't care. care. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. That's better. <laughs> Add to his resume. And then no, because then you got added beef that you didn't start. Because then somebody could say, oh, he did that to Superman and it wasn't you. Now Superman mad at you. I feel like infamous Superman people are afraid. Infamous people aren't worried about beef. They're infamous. Yeah, they're infamous villains. This ain't no, this ain't Johnny from Third Street. This is an infamous villain. And it's well, like you become infamous. Like, how bad do you have to be to be like, all right, you're infamous now? Do you have to be famous? Is it like famous for shitty reasons? Yeah. 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 It, 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 to be honest with you, I would pick the 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 um the, the the superhero. And what I would do is I would start all the beefs so the infamous hero would have beef with. I mean, the infamous villain would have a bunch of beef with people. So I'd just be starting shit. Since you don't know it's me, I'll be just starting a bunch of shit. Mm -hmm. And then the infamous be like that wasn't even me, dog. I I, I swear I, I want to be famous for this shit, but I I, I didn't do that. <laughs> like, hey, I have a couple theories about a couple superheroes. Like I I I feel like Superman vibrated so fast that nobody knew what his real face looked like. So that's why when they saw him, it's kind of like everybody sees something different. And that's why he could get away with just a pair of glasses. You thought he was just vibrating at his at his cubicle all day? No, 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 no. <laughs> Only when he was Superman. Only when he was Superman. He was just like, just moving at a... That's the that's the excuse they tried to give him Black Lightning. That's, that's what they said was like... He Seriously? Was, yeah, like they said, his powers distorted his face so people couldn't tell. And I was like, this is the dumbest costume. This nigga still has his beard, nigga. Like, I know it's you. I can see you. <laughs> Principal Jefferson, it's you. I, I, was, I was in detention yesterday. I know it was you. Yeah. And like they said his face or whatever they had distorts it. It's weird that all black superheroes are black something. I don't like that. <laughs> it's like black. Would you rather be white something? White lightning? No, just this, just the just thing. It's not, it's not white Wolverine or white Batman. <laughs> or white <Wolverine. laughs> the white Wolverine, like we don't get any of that. Here's my other- Oh, like Cyclops, what's his name? I mean, not the Cyclops, the one, the, the DC guy with the, the eye. Cyborg. Um, Dead cyborg. cyborg. Cyborg, yeah, he's just cyborg. Yeah, he's not black cyborg. That's and Luke and Luke Cage, he's just a regular ass name. His name is Luke Cage. He went by his government, like fuck it, I'm out here. What you want to do? Two good examples. 
<laughs> Can we move on? Here's my theory about Batman. Batman is so rich that he got bored and funded the villains so they could commit crime just so he would have something to do. Wow. Because uh, here's the thing. If he's as rich as he is, he could like hire more cops or hire private security to like man the streets and clean up Gotham, but he won't do it. He he's he just needs to do it. He has a support superiority complex where he has to feel like he has to f- solve the crime. You know what's I crazy? mean, I feel like I feel like to counter that theory, I feel like he just knows police are trash. So I might as well just do it myself because I've lived on this earth and they suck. Police are so trash, they built a bat signal. Think about right. that. <laughs> they oh built something to just be like, oh, is there a call? Help, help us, please, <laughs> whoever you are. <laughs> uh, but it, you, know what's, you know what's crazy? Bruce Wayne isn't as rich as people think he is. They actually have a net worth on him. He's only worth $9.2 billion, which is a lot of money. But if you think about him owning the whole city and the bat suit and the Batmobile, you'd think it's a lot more. And Tony Stark is only 12 billion. So if you think about it, Jeff Bezos is like crazy richer than Batman <laughs> and Tony Stark. Yo, what if, what if Jeff Bezos is a superhero? He can be. <laughs> By this math, he can well, get he a Because there's a lot of crime, okay? Yeah. There's a lot of bad stuff happening. He's a terrible superhero. Not in his city, wherever he lives at, but the crime is low. <laughs> he probably lives in a gated community where he is the only resident. Of yeah, that. Actually, that's where he was. You gotta, gotta go out of there to shop. You gotta go out of there. Imagine, I would do that though. That would that would be a dope superhero. You like protecting a gated community or just a place mm-hmm. with not that much crime, anyways. That'd be so <laughs> chill. <laughs> it's just not that, but you're basically na- neighborhood watch with powers. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't even have to use your powers. You just got a flashlight with a strong beam on it. I'll be using it. If I, if, I got flight, if I got flight and fireballs, I'm hitting these kids with these fireballs. You try to TP your house, pow, you're going to get blasted. But you have a billion dollar suit on with hella tech and you're just stopping <laughs> TPing kids. Like, get out of here, you. <laughs> let's, put it to a, let's put it to a vote. Would you guys rather be an infamous villain or an unknown superhero? I am a mother, so I am actually an unknown superhero every day of my life. Uh, I, on three hours of sleep, I can wash clothes, fold them, get the care ready, cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner, clean a house, and work a full-time job. You sound like still... a regular parent. That's what you sound like. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like a regular parent. <laughs> and all of us are superheroes, so unknown superhero for me. That was okay. wholesome. What about you, Pat? I'm going unknown superhero. I don't, I'm not trying to kill people. Okay. <laughs> Keon? So we got to kill people just to be a villain? I thought we could just no, like, no. be a villain. Yeah, you, you got to kill people. No, you could be a villain just by stealing. I could be breaking it yeah, off. Yeah, like, why can I just rob, like, ain't, the government? Ain't no robber has been considered a villain. That's oh, not. I'm, I'm still yes. a Yes. Ocean, Ocean's <laughs> 11 guys, they were villains? Yeah. yeah. What are you rooting for? They were thieves. That's thieves a villain. A villain. A villain. Thieves, villains can be thieves. Name one. In a lot of these cartoons, the villains ain't killing nobody. They're just doing a lot of heists. No, but they they be trying to take over the world. They be blowing up stuff. They just can't kill people because it's a cartoon. But the villains be the villains be doing Listen, stuff. Just because hey, I, just because I take hostages don't mean I intend to kill them. I just need right. to attention, leverage, all that. I don't. Do y'all know any famous villains that did nothing but robbery? Didn't didn't Joker do robbery? Despicable, despicable me. He just stole monuments and shit. Is he a villain? <laughs> Is he a villain? You think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's he's a villain for sure. Him and the minions. He had a whole gang of minions. That's he was the world's most villain. famous villain. And he just did robberies. I didn't see it. He just was like he was like he'd be like wake up and be like I'm gonna take the Eiffel Tower today. Like he was just doing shit like that. Okay, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> what about another, you another good example for that? <laughs> I've never seen it. I just wanted to know an example. All right, well, there, there you go. You can be a villain and just rob. I didn't know that. Yeah, I would. I, would, I think I'm going with the villain because I would just like for fun, and I would only like my villainy would be based on like rich white people too. That would be the joy of it. 
Like I'd be like, oh, y'all living fine over here. Let me just this is mine now. They'd be like, God damn it, put our one percent. Like I would just do God that shit it. all the time. <laughs> what about you, uh, Keenan? Keenan, I made a great argument at the end with the, you know, you know, uh, just taking from rich white people and stuff like that. That's a good right, argument. Right, right. But... I, I I agree. I, I would. I was already going to pick villain, but now I'm definitely going with villain, and my name is going to be Doctor Reparations, and I'm taking all of these <laughs> and giving it back. You that, I, that, that, that still ends in prison just because your own. Uh, I don't <laughs> care, Pat. You heard Keon. All my friends are already there. Y'all don't care about prison. <laughs> Why I mean, do you yeah, think no, every man. every villain don't go to prison? And when they do, Pat. they get out because they're infamous villains. I mean, they have they they have the they own the police. They I got own, the guards on friends. the payroll. Nigga. Somebody coming to break them out. Like they don't go to like regular. I ain't no, I ain't no two bit villain. I'm a world. Right. I'm an infamous villain. villain. I got my whole. I'm in the D wing by myself. They bring me. I got a private <laughs> chef in there. Like D wing. <laughs> that was really villain. specific. Nigga, like, as a villain, I'm wanted in like in 12 different countries. That's an that's an accolade. I put that on my resume. Right. Mm-hmm. You wanted by the United Nations. You ain't tripping. Yeah, nigga. That's true. Prison might be lit. Everybody in there is looking looks up to you and stuff. You right. Like, oh, you know what I mean? ain't gotta do nothing. They just bring me coffee in the morning, nigga. You know what it is. Doctor, like when I get out of here, I'm gonna give you a job. And be like, for real? I'm like, I'm gonna look out for you, big T bone. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you got, got Keenan? Who you going with? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with um, the superhero, but I'm not going to stop Keon and Tahir. I'm never gonna stop them. <laughs> Every time I see them, I'm gonna be like, "Oh, oh but, hey, do what y'all gotta do, brothers." And then, <laughs> like, I was, and then and else, out I'm of respect, we gonna stay out of his gated community. But all right. the communities adjacent, we fucking all that shit. I'm breaking in everything. <laughs> everything, okay. And I'm not like I wouldn't. I wouldn't still. I wouldn't do nothing. No black communities. Nothing. Like I'm just tearing up rich. White shit, government. Come, I'm coming. I'm stealing stuff from government just so to, to make them nervous. Oh, what? I'm going to. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to Keon's old college in Montana with all the white folks, and I'm taking all the drugs. <laughs> I ain't. I ain't fucking at the black eye, but I'm fucking. Oh man, Montana's about to get hit with so much dope. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, hilarious! You you bring actually to here they do meth there, so you have to you have to. Sell I know, I know. I just didn't want to be too on on the nose because I did a video about them having the biggest meth problem. I already know about that'd be hilarious, South Dakota. So, I all right, but that's that's about that's like, meth until I went that is there. villainy. Flood Wisconsin with crack. <laughs> <laughs> That's it hell of like the, uh, the the heroes have it on that one. We're gonna jump right into this next topic right after this. Hey, what's up, people? This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Say it with us, Blue Chew, okay? Because Blue Chew is making waves and bringing more confidence to the bedroom by offering chewable tablets that can help men get stronger and longer-lasting erections. That's what we're talking about, people. A little sex, hmm? Everybody like it, okay? Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. Blue Chew's tablets help men achieve harder and stronger erections to combat all forms of ED, okay? Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy, okay? It ships right to your door in a discreet package. Nobody all up in your business. And the process couldn't be simpler, okay? You sign up at bluechew.com. You consult with one of their licensed medical providers. And once you're approved, you'll receive a prescription within days. The best part, the best part, it's all done online, okay? Blue Chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and the strength of your prescription, Right? Let, 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 let me get it. Dear, I don't like swallowing pills. No problem. Blue Chew's tablets are chewable. That's right, chewable. Blue Chew's tablets are also made in the USA and they prepare and ship direct. So it's cheaper than going to a pharmacy. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. But I have a really special deal for all our listeners. I want you guys to try Blue Chew for free. That's right, for the free when you use the promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, at checkout. Then you just pay $5 for shipping. That's right, just $5 for shipping. One more time, head on over to BlueChew.com. Use the promo code SQUAD to receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. 
Next topic of the day we have, would you rather give up all dairy or give up all meat? Mm, that's that's tough for me because I'm already pretty much there. I'm like, I'm damn near vegan. So, huh? Shoot. Yeah. Oh, this don't even count for you, dear. You well, been here, well, here's the thing. I I be eating. <laughs> be eating I be eating cookies. <laughs> <laughs> that around was so real, dog. <laughs> I be mean, I be eating a lot, but my, my issue is that I can't resist cookies right now. So for me, I eat cookies and then lobster. So meat and dairy wise, those are the two things that I will still eat on both of those sides. And I, I got I ain't a lot. There's, there's really good vegan cookies. If you go to Trader Joe's, they have these chocolate chip cookies. You would never be able to tell that they were vegan. Here's the thing. You're right, man. I, there's a couple of vegan cookies that I love. But they are better than real cookies with dairy in them. They're just not. I'm telling you, these cookies are. Meg is one of those people like, no, you just haven't tried the right vegan mac and cheese. Like, there is no right vegan mac and cheese, nigga. Shut up, here. We all know. Let me tell you something. We all know you're picking. It's gonna be hard. I don't care what you're saying, Meg. Let me tell you something. Vampires, they didn't. They could have ate cows and and cats and shit like that. They wanted the real deal. There's a real deal. All of that shit is like the vegan shit. We want the real deal. There is no good. Talking about vampires? Yeah, vampires. Like they wanted the real deal like humans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, because in, um, what you call it? Uh, They don't have to have human blood. They can have other blood. They they don't have to have it, but they like, they like the thrill of it, nigga. He's saying saying they want the cream of the crop. They don't want the blood. Yeah, they could have have been going to blood 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 better than animals. They could have been going to blood banks, but they wasn't. They was like, nah, nigga, humans. Let me. No, they weren't. And uh, what you call it? One with Bella and what you call it? That shit Mm -hmm. don't count. Twilight? That does. He, that Cause does. they were doing so that he wouldn't eat her blood. <laughs> they did like blood. It was glittery and shit. That don't. Yeah, count. exactly. Twilight that does not count, count in the world of vampires. Meg, Meg just likes to play devil advocate, even if she knows it sound dumb. Shut up to here. You're never giving up meat because you got a fat back. <laughs> this is true, nigga. <laughs> I don't know, cause like one is cheese, right? Yeah. yeah cheese. All, all, dairy. Cheese. all dairy. So, so not just cheese, like milk, creamer. Uh, ice cream, everything. There's, all dairy. See, there's good substitutes for all of that. That's why, I, look. I, I mean, most of I don't really have dairy in my house except for cheese, but I can I can get rid of that. Yeah, yeah. I feel yeah like dairy. The only thing I would miss is cheese, right? I mean, you yeah, don't there's, eat, not, there's no. Good, I mean, cheese is great. You don't but, eat pancakes or waffles, nothing like that. Of course. Yeah, but you can make That's those different. vegan very easily. But what I'm saying is, Meg, is that me being pretty much, I would say, like a 95 percent vegan. The pancake wise, there's not pan regular dairy pancakes and vegan pancakes. Come on, man. Cookies. I'm cookies telling you, I cookies made them to where they no, and I'm but, telling but, you. But, but, but what's, in a, what's in a pancake that's dairy though? Uh hey. don't be milk. Or, uh that's meat. That would be considered uh I thought milk would be considered no, pancake both. makes you just add water. Yeah. No, no not pan- pancake mix. No, but even but even even you make pancakes from scratch, it's like a bunch of flour. It's it's not dairy. It's yeah, it's, it's milk. milk. You got to put milk in there. I feel like I have my answer is, I would rather give up meat, just because it's not an ingredient. Like dairy is an ingredient in a bunch of things that makes it good, and adding cheese to almost anything, including meat, makes it a lot better. So I feel like especially with all of the, I wouldn't have given up meat 10 years ago because the options were trash, but now that they have like a lot of really good vegetarian and vegan options that I like, and they're kind of on the cusp of making like a new way to make meat. Like they just 3D printed the first steak. I don't know how I feel about that, but we're on the right track. So if they start making things that are like meat substitutes with science, I feel like meat is going to be easier to miss. I mean, there's nothing that, you know, the smell of bacon in the morning, there's nothing that replaces that. There's nothing what that replaces that. Print, what if they 3D print a strip of bacon that smells the exact same? You eating it, Meg? But my question is, what are they, what's the materials? So, so the, bacon. The, 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 the steak that was just 3D printed was using cow DNA. So they're basically genetically making these things. Um, out of cow DNA, which sounds gross, but also killing a cow and eating the muscles that used to move its legs is also pretty gross. 
So it's it's all gross. No. So if I, I feel like if they can scientifically make something that tastes the same, why not? You're going to grow another testicle. No. I'm just saying, if it's safe printed. and it tastes well, the same, I don't see the difference. How you going to know when you, as soon as the te extra testicles hang in there, you'll be like, oh, well, I probably should stop eating this 3D printed meat. I don't need my balls. I don't no. need balls. You have an extra one. Here. It's just going to happen. You're going to have three oh, balls. Oh, you're saying dangling. growing another one? Yes. What if oh, you grow that's another that's pair? That's a career move. First of all, growing another testicle, can you imagine how great your orgasms would be? That's no! Like, Busting big die. nuts. You say oh. that now, but then when y'all get to be 60 and your balls are hitting your knees, you're going to be Busting like, wow, why nuts. do I have three? Man, that's listen, I'm going to anyway. join the circus for a year. I'm finna cash out. The three, three ball beer. Cash out. The fuck? What did you say, man? Uh, nobody wants to three see three nuts. Okay, just I three, three nuts. Three nuts. Three nuts. Uh, as ugly as it is. I mean, we only have two, and like, like, how good is it? With a third? Oh my god! I'm finna get condom deals and all that shit, bro. They were like, <laughs> for the unusual man, and they just have me and my balls. It's like. Yeah. <laughs> Your dick would look like a tank at that point. <laughs> Boy, come on. I'm going to get that dose. With hell and wheels. <laughs> All I'm them wheels. So much you act like three balls going to be a bad thing. It's not like. What? Every ball. woman is going to be well, like, ew. Wait a second, dear. Wait, if you had balls like Elephant Titus, though. No, no, no. Titus she, didn't say she, didn't say, she didn't say a big yeah, ball. Yeah, third ball. She didn't say you was going to get a big ball. That's going to be weird. Here's ball. the thing. Anytime it's an addition. It's a plus. It's when it's less. Like if you had nine toes, that's when people are like, "Ugh, this nigga got nine toes." But if you got three no. nipples, you got three nipples. Let me see that. I agree. I think if you no. had one ball, if you had one ball, a female would say something like, "Ew." But if you had three, they'd be like, "Yo, that's crazy." That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that I'm a female, and I will tell you right now, it's not like ooh, it's the same exact it's reaction. Not in front of you Why though, Meg. I feel like it'd be different if, it, if that's it no. That's like saying it, it, people have extra toes, and people are disgusted by it all the time. Okay, because they get toes. Bro. Nobody's out here. Well, I guess people are second toes, but I don't. Think, I don't think a six toe would get off anybody. Well, I don't know I'm saying it's just to, to his point was that an addition is not bad, and I'm like, yes, it is. It is because and people you, will I, get their I, six toe cut off all the time. Thank you, Michael. Right. Total Recall. <laughs> total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger when she had that three third titty. Movies. Why you got three titty? Oh, come on. Like that. Whatever the price. Whatever the price. Like come on. Whatever the price, they don't even. I don't like the, the three titty thing. Well, we don't like it. We wouldn't like it right now because we're we're accustomed to two to two breasts. If we grew up when we only saw three titties, that'd be the dopest shit ever. Well, I think I feel like it's like that with anything, right? Yeah. Possibly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, we, if our dicks split into two, like fucking Medusa snakes, and it and then we had like two helmets, women would probably love that if it was always like that. But if we yeah. dropped it right now, no. people would be Absolutely like, Absolutely oh, not. No. Women if it was if, if, since the beginning of time, yes, you would. No, it would be, because then that would be the norm. We're not talking about the norm. We're talking about stuff that is abnormal. That's, that's, that's what I, I said. I said if it wasn't norm. He was talking about the norm. Yeah, he was addressing yeah, I, I was just, I was just, I was just talking about. Nobody that. wants that, okay? Women, one penis is enough, okay? They don't want to see two. Now it's ball. now I gotta wake up double the amount of times at night because you got two penises that need to be serviced. Yeah. No, Women no, don't no. want double penetration. Double no. <laughs> no. Women, I take a poll right now. Women are not raising their hand and be like, "Yes, two penises." Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We dropped it, it now. You guys are there are some people that would be adventurous. They'd be like, I want to see- Oh, no, you're right. Because those- You're right. There will be some people that are adventurous. I'm not There's saying that. I'm saying majority. Majority, no. majority of women no. will be like, no, I don't most want to people, be- Listen, Meg, I'm telling you right now, even you, most people would say no initially, but then the curiosity would get the best of you. Be like, I want to see if both of them feel the same. And you'd be like, I want to I want to try. I want to try. And if, both, if one is a different size too? Oh. Oh, are you guys talking about things <laughs> differently going in? Oh, then yeah. Your little that penis ain't so never going to get no that play. Way. Your that little penis is... never getting touched. Man, what kind of sex you having? You just taping your dicks together and going in. No, because in my example, it was like the thing that, that be fighting um, Hercules. It was like one dick that split into two, like the oh, dog. Yeah, yeah. Look up Medusa. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 
we were just, you know, we were, our examples were all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> What were we talking about? What hey, was the question? Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> what was the question? I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm mad that I was over here Google all dairy <laughs> versus give up all meat. Oh wow! Oh okay, we went. We went. Yeah. Um, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got here. We got home. Wait, wait. We got here because Meg said in response get another to your um. The stakes are getting 3D yeah. printed. In response, she said you were going to have three balls. And that's how we got it here. From the got okay. Yeah, so we stopped doing that. What do you think about it? It's Meg's fault. It's all Meg's fault. Fine. Wait, wait, Keon, Keon you, when you Google three testicles, what happened? Was there people that out there with them? I saw shit I didn't want to see. But yes, it's a rare <laughs> piece. Pictures? It's, it's a rare thing that happens. But honestly, Let's after see. seeing it, I wouldn't mind that third ball. Like It wouldn't bother me like that. It's not that. I thought it would be way more like gross. But at the end of the day, like we have two balls right now, and you really can't see them like that because right. our sack yeah. is covering. So if I had a third one, nobody really know unless I pulled the sack back. It's like you see it's the three a, ripples. A no, it would make your sack really I huge. Have, I can house another one. I can house uh, not everybody you have balls a really you. huge sack, and then your penis would look a lot smaller with a huge okay. sack. Well, well, not everybody's sack is the same size. All yeah. sacks aren't created equal. Yeah, and not all penises either. Man, yeah, not all balls. Balls. Uh, balls. Three balls, balls is not a good thing, okay? You have two balls in the front, Meg, and then one ball in the back of those two balls. You don't even see the third ball. That lets me right. know, man, listen, confused. first of all, there are a lot of women who like going from the back, okay? And if you got three balls yeah. in your speed bag, it's hitting like... <laughs> Great points in here. What do you do? It's something different. It's something different. <laughs> three balls in your speed bag. Hey. <laughs> Can I share my uh, screen on these? Cause I'm I'm not getting the same look that Keon got. I just, <laughs> I just want to show you guys the the picture that I got. Hold on, let me. Oh, you can't even be showing porn on here. No, it's not porn. It's not porn. I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest this if it wasn't. Uh, right, if it's bad, bad we just gonna us. edit it out. All right, this is all that I got. <laughs> 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 that's what that's what popped what? Up for me. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Let's put it to a vote before we uh, get. That looked like a kickstand. That looked like a tripod. <laughs> so funny. What's the vote? Three balls or two balls? What's the vote? <laughs> we we're going with uh, give up all dairy versus give up all meat. Oh yeah, right. I think I, I think it. I'm gonna give up. I think I'm gonna give up dairy only because I don't really eat a lot of dairy as is. And to, uh, I think, I forgot whose point it was. I've had, uh, you know, vegan butter. I've had, you know, I drink oat milk anyways. I've had, I've had vegan options for dairy and I don't miss, and I don't eat cheese like that. So I don't really care, but I've never had a fire vegan option for meat. I've had stuff that'll do. But never fried. my wife. My wife made a full apple pie with all vegan, fr and I. It was actually better than the regular one. Really? Yeah, it was fire. Huh? So I, that I was just that was dairy. just replacing the milk and the butter in it, or is there a bunch of she other? She replaced stuff? the. She just. Uh, it was only the butter that she had to change. Oh. And uh, yeah, the butter, and it was it was fire. So I was like, yeah, I'll just give up the dairy because I already. I, I, I right now in my diet, I really don't eat dairy. Gotcha. That's what's up. That shit sounds stupid as fuck. I'm gonna go ahead and give up the meat though. You know what I'm saying? I ain't giving up the dairy, my nigga. I ain't giving up pizza ever. You know what I'm saying? I ain't giving up. I'm oh gonna... shit! Wait, wait. I forgot about pizza. I ain't giving up upside down pineapple cake, my nigga. You got me fucked up all the way fucked up. I'm not doing it. Um, Damn. Now I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Though, what you putting on that pizza? Just all vegetables? Yeah, I can go with yeah, peas. I can go with mushrooms. I can go with uh, sun dried tomatoes. I can go with uh, um, uh, what is it? Uh, Air milk. But yeah, I'm good with that. Go, what is this, Kevin? <laughs> Kevin, Fredericks. Kevin, Fredericks. Kevin Fredericks. What is what Kim convention did you leave? He's still setting up. He's still setting up. Anyway, y'all go ahead while he does that. Uh, y'all go ahead. See, this is tough for me because. Dairy makes my nose run a lot. And now I, li I lived with Keon for years and I left a lot of tissues at his house. I'm sure he hated me for it. So, ah! <laughs> what? Every time, you know how people get off the couch and you, they'll be changing the couch? This nigga had tissues. And I'd be like, nigga. <laughs> tissues? Well, off the couch, bro. From what? 
my nose runs a lot. It just runs because I eat when I eat dairy, my nose it's a wrap. So yeah. for, for me, I, I man, I, I might say dairy for that reason. Um, mm-hmm. but same thing, my, my girl has made great dairy options for vegan wise and meat options. I, I I will say besides chicken and I say besides chicken and seafood, you can I can that can deal with I can deal with vegan. Vegan hamburgers are amazing. Like that's you can what's get up. Them. That's what's up. That shit sounds stupid too. Uh, go ahead. Tia, wait, Tia, you said you're giving up all dairy or giving no, them all I'm meat? Giving up meat. I give up meat before I give up dairy. Why? Because you can just slice a piece of bacon off your back. Yeah, basically, that's basically what it is. That shit bomb like a motherfucker. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. <laughs> I did. Wait, she was she was so ready for that. Tia, I, was, what, right. I knew. Up. I saw her setting that. I saw her setting that shit up ten minutes ago. She was trying uh, to- I hate y'all. <laughs> bomb like a motherfucker. Get that weak <laughs> <laughs> I'm, giving, you know what? I'm giving up all Ooh, dairy. I don't think- shut up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving up dairy. I don't really eat much dairy anyway, but I will yeah. miss pizza. I will but miss pizza. I will say that I have had the the follow your heart shredded cheese that you put on. It actually is a good substitute for. I don't believe pizza. you, but I'm telling you, that it's that it's that Blaze pizza. Go try it. Actually, I prefer that. I yeah, follow your heart. Um, even shredded even. Cheese. Uh, all the vegans that I know, the one thing that they say they cannot find a good substitute for is pizza. They'd be like, it's, it'd be I'm trash. telling you, go it to Blaze. I found one. It's a really good option. Now, cream cheese is no substitute. I've tried every last one of Who's the vegan cream cheese, cheese anyway. Who wants well, I got a bagel. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Are you serious? Yeah. It's all- no, it's great. And yeah, there's no substitute for that. So I give up all dairy because I do, every now and then I do partake in a rib. I'm not proud of it, but it's very rare. But I do I like it. Don't rib. Rib. feel no type of way about me. I, I love it. I'm giving I, up. Even, even, I'm giving people, even, even when people like I don't eat pork and shit, but if they eat bacon or they eat ribs, I I, I give them a pass. I understand, my nigga. I understand. <laughs> it's just delicious. Bacon ain't pork, man. Forget all that. Yeah. Bacon it is, is. Bacon is bacon. I feel is like bacon. they left the portal open and bacon snuck down to heaven. We weren't supposed to have bacon until we got to heaven. We found out about some shit that God only <laughs> intended us to have when we was up there. Mm-mm-mm. But anyway, I, is that everyone? Is that everyone? Uh, I, I haven't said, I, I've changed my mind. I'm I'm giving up dairy. I feel like I thought that there was a lot more. I'm looking at a list right now. It's really just cheese, milk, and, and yogurt. First of all, what you do is say just cheese. That's what no, you No, 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 cheese was big. Cheese was okay. big. Okay. I, 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 I feel like there's, I would mm-hmm. rather a cheese substitute than a steak, chicken, and seafood substitute. It, that is, All right, man, whatever. I don't care. It looks like the uh, the meat has it, and everybody's going to give up dairy. Uh, and they, meat they punk has asses. We're going to get on to this last and final topic. Last topic of the day. We have, would you rather have super strength, but never be able to hug someone again, versus be invisible, but always have to be naked? Oh, this is Before you guys answer, <laughs> I want to uh, make some room and then and welcome back to the show. We have Bruno Tartar. <laughs> <laughs> Bruno Mars Bar to hear was right there. That would have been way better. I don't Mars eat Mars Bar. Bars, I, but I know tuna tartar, so that's what you got. <laughs> that's that your NAACP. And just take the insult. Image Award nominated Kev on stage. If you're going to make fun of me, please <laughs> keep the. Kev looked like a vagina. I rushed <laughs> over here to finish this and this is the this is the intro. Hey, hey, Pat, I thought they would be excited to have me. And this he's been telling me for years he got a fatty. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Hey, cool. Clit on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Megan. How are you? Oh, Megan, boy. Hey. Yo, see here, change his name to Clit on stage, bro. No, don't do your boy. <laughs> oh man, that's these that's are your cool friends. Stuff. These are your alleged friends. These are yeah. my alleged friends. Don't worry. Once I win this award, my friends are changing. So. No, it ain't. Keep it no, while it you can. <laughs> yeah. oh, man. You, look like, you look like you ordered a whole lot of those TikTok leggings. Like, you can't wait for it. 
What was what, the, what, what did those leggings even do? Like, what did, what is what do they look like? They like, just, the way they're 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 in the middle. Yeah, the way they're stitched around your butt crack, it just accentuates your cakes. Oh, I got some. It didn't really work. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you have to be honest, man. No one is surprised. <laughs> yeah. Okay, not all of us can be built like an S like you. <laughs> Me and Kev. Kev so, recorded the, the reaction. Everybody's recording the reaction. And everyone's like, what? Yours is just like, hey, Meg, what's going on? What's for dinner? <laughs> <laughs> oh. You notice anything different, though? <laughs> yeah, it's colder in here. Yeah, it's a little cold in here. <laughs> Yo, that's the worst. When you, they don't get it, you thought they were gonna get it. Hey, man, you know, <laughs> you don't see it. You're cooking dinner, like clearly, ass out, just like, <laughs> oh, hey, honey, what's going on? Nothing. Good day. <laughs> <laughs> what you making? No, uh, you know. Nothing. Are you making a meal without dairy? I heard you. Have a <laughs> No, my, my oh. Back to the topic at hand, though. Would you yeah. And don't make us get on this topic, man. You ain't the hall monitor. Shut up. <laughs> so fat clit, Seth. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Fat, fat, fat clit. clit. Have you ever seen the people with the, the extra big clits? That's what Cam looks like. Like, the, just the extra... <laughs> he's just like, sheesh. Hey, like he said a, you look like you a know, clit is just a female penis? It it's is. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. So if you're I'm eating coochie, you're that sucking that pee, man. It's all the I'm same. Change your name to hey. meat curtains instead of clit on stage. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh, correct word is labia. In uh, in high school, I knew this girl who had like a really long clit, like a like an abnormally long clit, and like there was this dude who like, you know what? <laughs> I, I see how graphic this is getting. As I said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you, so basically the guy is you because you <laughs> you had to have known, seen it to know that. No, I, everybody knew this stuff. How does everybody like, know somebody has a big clit? <laughs> because he went, he went down on her and he sucked it and he said it was kind of like sucking a dick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he used the two-hand got got. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no! Ah, no. Bro. No. But how did he, he, how did he get got... clit, though? Like, did he, did he suck it what? like a dick? Like, did he grab it? And then, like... He grabbed it like this. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> good God. lady. <laughs> did he tap it after? Like, the good lady. The, 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 the Olive Garden grater? Why is it all you smoking it, Keon? <laughs> Keon hit it. He hit it in passing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get out of home. here. I have a coochie. Yo, hit it like a rope. Yo. Yo, yo that get like out of here. I have a coochie made his ground on the internet, bro. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, man. Oh, damn. Bram, get out of here. I got a coochie. <laughs> <laughs> That, and you can't make me take dick, Megan. <laughs> you can't make me take dick. First out of, all, out of context, don't insert me into none of this. Okay? Out of context, those those two those two phrases make zero sense. Out of context, everybody like, I've me. never heard Kev say dick before, and that was the biggest. <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Oh. White's funny. Oh man! Kim, why do you have this this pink suit on? I was uh, shooting a sketch with Tab. To uh, uh, oh, it'll be out by now. Uh, we we did a sketch to um tell people to vote. Yeah, to vote for the NAACP Image Award. Listen, man, I don't stand a chance against Tab at the Brown. Jesus Christ! Have so, you ever met a more sweet person ever? She's yeah, like. I, I thought that, I thought that you and uh, Desi were the only people who would probably win. No, Tabitha. No. Sh- NAACP is old people. Tabitha yeah. should win like a. I mean, I love Desi and Carlton and the Budgetista and myself. If Tab don't win, I it's I I I would be really surprised. Oh, I love her. I know everyone I loves her. her. I didn't vote for yeah. you, Jeff, but I voted for her. Okay, thank you. Just playing. I'm <laughs> <laughs> 
Did she, did she start with the, uh, What'd you say, Pat? Did she, she started with the um the um like those those videos like with uh like mukbangs or ASMR. She got no no. She started on uh she was doing TikTok uh vegan mm -hmm. uh, vegan uh TikToks. And her like her videos where she'd be like encouraging people like hello there I know you're going through some sad times, it's okay. Oh, yes, was she she's the parent of somebody. She's who... a she has, she has a daughter. Her first video was like teach me how to do the thing, man. You know, renegade, renegade, right? Renegade. With, with her husband, right? That was actually her brother. Oh, okay. It was her okay. brother and then her daughter. Her husband's now in her videos, but Pat, Pat but has that was only like one year. <laughs> Pat was said, like, yeah, that, that was it. It's like, no, actually, it was, it was. Pat is like, her name is Tabitha Black, right? No, Brown. Oh, yeah, yeah. I knew it was <laughs> oh, but color. I, I was I was talking about the right video. Everybody thought that yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. those parents. Yeah, they all, they all thought that was her parents. Yeah. Because that was the cap. The When people posted it, it was like, when your parents don't get TikTok. Oh, okay. But nobody cares about the truth. Yeah. But nah, she had, uh, listen, she had the biggest year. She came from, like, literally obscurity to the superstardom from March to March. Yeah, I honestly didn't still, know. You know what, I still don't you know what do. she did. I, I thought she was like a motivational speaker or something. I didn't know. I she is love, her. Keon. She's amazing. Okay? She's just love. She's yeah. so doggone sweet. Now she's uh, got uh, shooting in uh, Chicago for a TV show. Bro. She she had a great You You ever talk to, to somebody and like every time you get off the phone with them, it makes you smile. Like her mm -hmm. voice is like a hug. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, and it's not just over the like, not just over like Instagram and stuff like that. When she came to Kev's show, and she was sitting up there and she was laughing, she just had a good time. You was happy that she had a good time. Bruh. Like, oh right, she had a great time. And she was like, "Hey, loved ones, how y'all doing?" Bruh. That energy, she, yeah, she won, bro. She won. <laughs> she, yeah. And she literally has more fans everywhere. And they're rabbit, but I, bro, I ain't tripping. I'm, I'm nominated, cause that bro, matters. you are in good company. You I, are. Yeah. Good company. I, I like Desi too. I like Desi and Carlton and you're the budget though. I just went to the web website and you the face of the, 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 the nominees. Come on, pat yourself on the back. Right. That's a big bat. I knew someone was <laughs> going to say that. I was trying to get, I was trying <laughs> to get the you pat out of the way. You got to do it with quick. a notebook to pat us. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I just looked her up. She did all this in 2020. Yes. Leon, she yeah. she took off in March in quarantine. She took off. Yep. Oh yeah, she deserves this. I'm just Bruh, I'm it that's what I'm saying. This is like, <laughs> this is right, like she basically had 50 cents album. Like it was that big of a year for her. It's just like, bro, if you've been paying attention, nobody like my career has never been like a you know, it's just been like slowly growing. She literally is the most outstanding social media personality. Well, now I don't feel bad for not knowing who she was because she just came out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She just came out of nowhere during quarantine. <clears throat> but anyway, right. super can... strength, man, and invisibility. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, what were we talking about? So let's put it to a vote. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even gotta, think, would you? You would gotta you be rather... naked to be invisible. Be be super strong, but never be able to hug someone again, or be invisible, but you always have to be naked to be. Invisible. So wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me. If you can't hug anybody, I'm assuming you can't have sex either. I mean, you can have sex without hugging. You go from the back. But I'm saying hugging is way less aggressive than sex. Yeah, but you could be rid. Somebody. You could be rid, roded, rided. Huh? Well, why don't you know the right word, Kevin? I don't know. You nobody yeah, you don't never know, say yeah. road. You it's don't, road, right? It's road. It's road. Ridden? Never road. rid. It's never rid. Road, 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 right? Road, road. Yeah, yeah. you can be roaded. You can be roaded. I don't know if roaded is right. I don't think you put a D on it. You yeah, you you road. The D's already on it. Hey, yo. Hey. Oh, ridden. Right. Ridden. Ridden. Ridden, yeah. You can be ridden. Road or ridden, yes. Is it is road not a word? No, oh road's my a word. gosh, what's wrong with y'all? Oh yeah, she wrote she rode the meat. She yeah, ridden road the is meat. road is fine, Meg. Why did you? I said going? road, and then I said ridden too. Both of them. Shut that's up. What I'm saying you added, added a, you added one. We already had a word. Whatever. You know what? Yeah, that's you have a big forehead, and you cover it with your stupid braid. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. What's Meg, your do you still shoot your podcast? Yes. 
<laughs> That's all you had to ask. That was it. I was, I was just really curious at that moment. Oh man, that was know. a fun podcast. I had a good time. I come back. Meg had crafty. Mommy needs a break. Podcast. Check me out, guys. Ooh. I mean, uh, to... first of like when first yeah. of all that question just like what asshole made that question? That's number one. Because that to is, hear more. To hear can't, more. Can't, I can't hug anybody. That's the that's the best thing when somebody's going through something or when you're going through something. You need a hug, bro. I I rather I rather I rather have the the, the invisibility because I already. I don't care to, for anybody to see the flaccid. So if I go, <laughs> if I go invisible, so they ain't gotta see the flaccid. That's cool with that's me. Right. That's, that's what I was gonna ask you to hear when you come back. So do you have to get undressed to go invisible? Oh yeah. So then when you come out of it, you would still be naked. No, you can oh, go. When you come out of it, you can only come out of it if you put clothes on. Right. No, oh, you're always wait, wait, invisible wait, when you're naked. Know. The no, yes, that's what he said. No, the invisibility isn't triggered by the nakedness. It's right. just, it's, it's just like the only time cartoon. you can use it. It's in cartoons. So if I go invisible right now, you'd see a floating hoodie and glasses. And if I would really, and then I would have to start taking all that what? off. No, that's not what he said. To, here, wait. That's, right. that's what he said. That's what I mean. You have to be naked to be all the way invisible. Because your clothes aren't an extension of you. Your clothes are on you. So if you yeah. get invisible, if you got that on. You didn't watch cartoons? Right. You said you have to be naked in order to be all the way invisible. He's saying you can have clothes on and be invisible. No, 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 no. no. I, I, can be, I can become invisible, but you would see my clothes still. So I would have to take my clothes off to be completely invisible. But that the clothes, me taking my clothes off doesn't trigger me. I don't have to be standing here naked and you guys see me so to trigger my invisibility. I don't I don't understand that what this question is because well, everyone knows. You, if you want uh, to you call us dummies, everybody you, else got the question, Meg. Mm -hmm. Shut up, Keon. Everybody else got the question. Shut You're up, Keon. You, you eat salads. Because people see the clothes so they can point you out. The <laughs> only reason why salads give you ass. You know what I mean? That's what they do. Salads give you ass. Salads don't equal ass. Squats equal ass. Okay, shut up. A genetics. <laughs> you eat salad is a. I'm a half Asian. <laughs> I'm a half Asian. You eat salad. <laughs> you eat salad. <laughs> That's like a schoolyard roast in kindergarten. <laughs> Shut up, you eat sandwiches. <laughs> Wait, to here, read it again. I'm confused. Oh my God, Megan, Keon's right. Just take it as that. Wait, you said. You're wrong, Meg. You're okay, wrong I'm just asking listen. you to read it one more Meg, time. Listen, listen, okay? He's saying the only way you, you can, can be still complete. be invisible, but people will see the clothes. The only way to truly be invisible is if you're naked because the clothes are not an extension of you. They're just on you. Only you can turn invisible. Here we get so frustrated <laughs> with you. Because she knows the answer. She just don't want to be wrong. You wrong. Shit. <laughs> state an opinion. I didn't state Man. no opinion. No, you, you answered the question. Shut up She's here. up here prolonging here. it. Now, uh, question. Oh, I have a question. Connecting your freckles. This is what I'm doing. I'm connecting them question. right now. <laughs> if, I, if I had my clothes and I and I were to like hunch over them and and like sit sit down on them, you wouldn't. I'd still be invisible, right? Because my body would block the clothes. Yes. Okay. I I want that. <laughs> <laughs> I want that. Yeah, I'd rather I want the invisibility. I felt like when the question was posed, it was really easy because once they said give up hugs, I was like, thank God. Like I don't, <laughs> you don't like people, hugs. I don't like people. Yeah, your your son can't hug you. Cyborg, you don't bro. Your to hug you? No, yeah, my boy is still, man. but I and I'm already half naked all the time anyway. So what's the extra mile to go invisible? Like no big deal. Neon, Neon has zero emotion. <laughs> I've told him plenty of stories. He'd be like. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't get Antioch, bro. It's, yeah, it's yeah, the jungles I, I out there. I completely get it. I completely get it, bro. It's like, yeah. But, I, but honestly. Now, from like now where I am in life, but before I was like, please don't yeah. touch me. Until they brought the kids, like not being able to hug my kids, that would suck. Yeah. 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 That would suck a lot. Yeah. But being invisible is dope, though. It is. Yeah. And do we really need super strength? Like, if you really, like all of our... Chances right. of strength, strength would probably be just like things that come up here and there, but it's like in a fight, you can't use it. You'd have to tone it down because you punch somebody's head off. There's like yeah. not a lot of like practical uses for no. strength. First of all, and I don't, I don't even think my kids want to be super strong if I can't hug them. They wouldn't care about my strong. They already think I'm the strongest nigga on earth anyway. They don't know if nothing. They're stupid. They're kids. 
If you punch somebody's head off in a fight, word is going to get around. Nobody's ever going to fight you again. <laughs> yeah, in so, prison. Man, even still, that's what you wanted the most, nigga. Yeah, true. <laughs> No, invisibility in prison, though. Invisibility is, in prison? Is, I have a question. So for this whole... You wouldn't need to be in prison if you were invisible. Yeah, why, how would you get caught? <laughs> if hey, you're wait, invisible and you're still in prison, you are you terrible. They're going to make you wear your uniform in prison, Keenan. they just going to be like, somebody going to be like, yeah, I fucked an invisible nigga once. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you Don't let that shit uh, turn off while you're naked. you in the middle of the yard. Oh my God. <laughs> Kick out. <laughs> you a you whole stack. Nigga bragging? It was like, it was the one nigga hit. You know, they turned invisible. Like, what? Well, yeah, yeah, I fucked him. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I where do you, hold on. So how do you become invisible? Like, you automatically, like, it's you're the, always invisible? It's the same way yeah. that a person decides that they want to fly. If you can fly, you just, like, you use the power. You just exert it. And that's yeah. what happens. So you just, like Homelander, man. He was just like, you just got to think about it, bro. And then you be flying. Shut up. <laughs> That's what he told his kid. That's what basically he what he told his roof. kid. Yeah. Yeah, bro. He basically told yeah. his kid, bro, I don't really have He's to like, explain this. Bro, go ahead. <laughs> then he Talk threw his kid off the roof and the kid did not fly. At all. <laughs> he Yo, was so dude. frustrated with him. He was like, nigga, just fly. I don't, why you don't get this? Oh. <laughs> he was great, so great frustrated. Show, great show. I mean, it is a great show. So, man, what are you going to do? What are you, you going to do? You I'm going to be invisible you since you can. Since you can just choose when you want to be invisible, that's fine. I'll do that. Okay, invisible. Okay. And Pat, you said invisible too? Invisibility. You should choose. You don't have any. What? You you, you, you broke up a little bit in there, but that just lets me know we didn't need to hear it. Kev, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Internet was like, no, 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 no. Man, enough <laughs> questions from you. <laughs> <laughs> internet oh, this knew internet ahead, won't let me be the great. internet knew ahead of time this ain't gonna work so let me just save them the, <laughs> no, 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 no. let's just save everybody some time and i'm gonna chop this up for you what if, what if, what if there's like somebody inside that's actually actually working the internet and like she started talking and they were like <laughs> Go not again. Not again. Pull the, hit my two shut it down uh, <laughs> whatever yeah, guys what kev, kev looks like a clip <laughs> it's just like that she's back, ladies and gentlemen. I love Meg Scoop. She's the best person here. <laughs> Yo. Hey, Kev, uh, I will say I didn't hate the blue suit. Everybody liked the blue suit, man. The blue suit was, was like, nice. I, I didn't like it on you, but it the suit itself was okay. <laughs> he didn't hate the suit on the hanger. But yeah, on the hanger, I was like, like, like when he, when I saw it, I was like, I could pull that off. Like, it was, you, I was like, well, it is what it is. But I was like, I think I it, said it, it was a, it was a good concept suit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the is... idea of it was fantastic. Man, okay, this that's is right beyond me. Bad, but yeah, on uh, somebody else that like like styled it better, like it, it'll be. It was a joke, guys. I wasn't wearing them for real. Yeah, you were. Was I? Yes, I was trying to I was trying to test a few out and see how the audience reacted to it. <laughs> They're all serious bias, but he was just like, ha, ha, I'm silly, right? Oh, do you what like about this one, guys? No, okay. I was <laughs> 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 you turned the camera off. He was like, they don't like any of them. Like, they don't like any of them. <laughs> Return all of them. Return them all. <laughs> Kev, what did you go with? V Invisible, baby. Okay, Keenan. Invisible. And Keon? Invisible. Okay. okay. I'm going to go with strength. All right. Well, that has been another episode <laughs> of Squadcast Versus. Y'all make sure y'all check out our lovely guests. We had uh, Keon on this thing, Keon Poli. Y'all check out all of his shows and his Instagram. It'll be in the description. As well as Keenan Baker, another amazing comedian. You check out all his socials. Uh, it'll be in the description as well. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all next week on another episode of Squadcast Versus. Peace. Peace. Bye, guys. Hey, okay.